Thank you. Uh, good. The second speaker for today is our equally committed and devoted Toastmaster, <laughs> Toastmaster Lili, with the speech called This is Me, and if I'm not mistaken, this is your icebreaker, right? So this the icebreaker is usually to introduce yourself and to let the club know more about you. Student, you yes. asked her to read the evaluator to read the purpose of the speech. The objectives of the Ah, the evaluator. Uh, I have it right here of the speech. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I will give Hi. shortly the floor yes. to the evaluator. So, do I just read Just read what the purpose of the speech is. Purpose statement? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, speech is its me, purpose statement, the purpose of this project is for the member to introduce himself or herself to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. Um, this is for the notes for me. This member is completing his first speech at Toastmasters. The goal of the evaluation is to give the member an effective evaluation of his first speech uh, and delivery style. Because the icebreaker is the first project a member completes, and you may choose to use only the notes section and not the numerical score. Mm -hmm. So I'll do my best. Okay. Lily, may I say something? Um, it says icebreaker, which is the first speech you're supposed to deliver. Well, you're supposed to deliver in a certain path because Lily is a very experienced yes, Toastmaster. Yes, it's yes, not yes. her first speech. No, it's no. just her first speech in that particular path. I just wanted to yes, say yes, it. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. Okay. Wow. Here you go. Oh, okay. Visionary communication is my next path in Pathways. And it's the first speech. It's my icebreaker. A couple of years ago, I did a course on writing your autobiography. And our coach trainer suggested that the chronological method, I was born in Melbourne, Australia, last century. I've got four <laughs> brothers. I met my husband in New York. I came to Austria in 1988, and I have five sons. Chronological is boring. Give an interesting fun fact. Make it interesting. My five sons all sang in the Vienna Boys Choir. Wow. First time in the 525 year history of the world famous Vienna Boys Choir, my five sons were in that choir. So that's my claim to fame. You won't forget it. Ask for that woman, the mother of those five boys. That Aussie living in Vienna who worked at the UN. Okay, next part. Autobiography, boring, fun fact, Vienna Boys Choir, five sons. I'm a peace activist. I was an NGO representative for Women's Federation for World Peace and I was attending NGO committee meetings here at the VIC. I was supporting the UNODC. I was the secretary of the Drugs the Vienna, Vienna, Vienna NGO Committee on Narcotic Drugs. And I was between jobs. And I decided I'm going to start boosting up my application process for a job at the UN. Because I was working with these guys at the UNODC and I thought, I'm better than they are. The stuff that I'm doing for them, they're getting paid for it. And I'm coming in as a volunteer. Well, my call to heaven was heard. And I got a job. 2009, I started working at the IAEA until 2019, 2010. I joined Toastmasters and immediately joined the committee as vice president membership. Have been basically on the committee ever since, supporting, if not in an official role, as Easy Speak support. And I'm passionate about world peace and what the UN can contribute. I'm so inspired. I come here from home especially to be with you for this meeting because you staff members at the UN. I'm one of you. I know what it's like when you go out there and people hear, oh, you work at the UN, good pay, no work. We should defund the UN. 
the United Nations has a role, and if we don't do it, then who? I'm passionate about making this the best place possible. My ideals, my vision, is true parents United Nations. What? True parents United Nations. What are you talking about? You know, in a family, a child receives love from the parents. Just passively. Give it to me. Change my nappy. Ah! Give me some food. And then, brother, sister comes along. They go to kindergarten and give and take. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You give me this, I'll give you that. Then, mutual relationship. Exclusive relationship. New children born and loving your own children with that same unconditional love that you experienced as a child. That's the fourth level of love, the parental love, the unconditional love. And when we go through those phases as a child, receiving what we need, yeah, who's received what they need? Our job at the UN is to see that the Sustainable Development Goals are fulfilled, that we can fulfill the needs of our world family. And then we can work together and cooperate with one another, SDG 17, Partnerships for Peace. And when we become the parents who can love unconditionally and accept and embrace others, then we can fulfill our role. That's my vision. That's my purpose. Now I'm working again with Women's Federation for World Peace. Last week was the Interfaith Harmony Week and here in the C building the Interreligious Faith Harmony Conference was held with people from all different religions and organisations and there is a vision, a concept going around of introducing a spiritual chamber into the United Nations so that we go beyond national interests to the next level. That we can work together like spirit and body, like parents and children, taking care of one another and making sure that all needs are met. That's my vision. Who am I? I'm a peace activist. Thank you so much, Lily, for this. I may call it motivation. And your cells are listening to you. Think about the word call. The cells are listening and yes. they are laughing. Mm -hmm. yes. And that keeps us in check. It's joy. The cells know what we want, not the doctors. Else. And with that, I would like Toastmaster Hassel. <laughs> yes, okay. Toast. Oh, I want to a picture with this. <laughs> and I would like to ask her a question. What worked for you in this case, and what works not for you? What doesn't work? Well, there are many things that work for me and not. When we talk about intelligence, I remember my days as an intelligence officer. I used to work at the facility as an intelligence officer, and it's amazing that what helped me was a combination of things that you mentioned. Emotional intelligence with intelligence. Understanding humans, understanding myself, and understanding others, whether or not they're lying. How, do I, how can I do my job better? Understanding them, looking at them, and trusting them but at the same time, studying them. So I think intelligence is actually not only humor, humor is great, but it's also fear. Mm. People are observed, and they know what my role is. So it puts me in um, a position where I'm more in control, and I can observe them, and sometimes they don't even know they're doing that, they're, that they're being observed. And it's interesting that in my facility where I worked, um, we had this really clear definition what is it like to be accountable, devoted, committed to all these causes? 
it's what do you do when no one is watching you? But there I was, in this interesting world, as an intelligence officer, watching everybody. <laughs> and then evaluating them, and then reporting. Um, but I knew that I was devoted to my integrity. I was devoted to my passion for understanding people, studying them, um, actually helping them to be better. Um, and if, when I was thinking, if I reveal, if I actually catch them, Okay. lying or under reporting, I would give them a better service and that's how we can all grow to be emotional intelligence because we can understand our emotions and we can understand them in others. Hello mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Toastmasters and Marques, it was an, such a wonderful meeting actually. Yesterday when I when I looked at the program, no speeches. I immediately sent an email to Silla and Lily. Please help. So thank you for listening to that. The second spe speaker was Lily and Asel will give the evaluation. Yes, um, it was my honor to evaluate Lily. It was a very easy uh, job. I thought uh, it was incredible that it, the topic was it's me. And the way she used I was very well paced, spread out uh, throughout. Um, uh, repetition, uh, there were several very good repetitions to highlight uh, the use of pauses. The, I highlighted the most important that I found was incredible was the, the vocal variety, the tone, speed, and the volume. Uh, to me, that was incredible. Eye contact with everybody, gestures were used in a very good way. Um, audience awareness and very comfortable, could relate to the audience, talking about something that everybody is involved in and can relate to, um, feeling, I already mentioned that she feels she was very comfortable in the, in the environment, um, memorable content, um, still resonates, several words are still in my mind, I don't know how for others, but that's, I think the, the, the topic was very memorable. And the only thing that I noticed was um, something to maybe work on is just to maybe move a little bit and not be in one place. But that could also help because the body language is just takes so much percentage of the, the attention. So that's, that's my evaluation. Thank you. Thank you, Yasser.